I survived 100 days on Lifesteal SMP. The only problem is that this is a scam version of Lifesteal. Will I be able to survive and conquer these massive teams of tryhards? Or will I be prim locked with wooden tools for the entire time? Our journey begins on day one. So on day one, I spawned in and I was already down a heart. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was a glitch. I then collected my first kit. Here we go, default kit, yo. With my first kit collected, I then started to look around the server and see what was going on. Yo, buddy. Hey, yo. Oh, nah. I'm dead. So day one wasn't going too well. Somehow this kid was able to punch me out of a spawn. I'm already down two hearts, bro. Nah. I'm gonna sneak out of here. Here we go. The coast was clear, and I made a run for it. Oh, no, there's two kids right here. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I then found my first resource. All right, we got some wood right here. Crafting a table. All right, time to get some stone. I gathered some stone and made my first stone pickaxe. Still got five minutes on my kit. It's not ideal. What is this, bro? I then discovered the server's TPs. This was definitely going to be a lot easier. What's up, sheep? I then began to search and see if I could find a good spot for my base. All right, I need to get some food going. So right away, I crafted a furnace and began cooking my first bits of food. Steak is cooking. I'm also going to grab some wood while I wait. Oh, I think my kit's ready. There it is. The default kit, and we already have iron tools now. Thanks to the kits, I was able to skip straight to the Iron Age, making my progress a lot faster. We did get a gapple and two inner pearls. I then began to build some wacky base, and I have no idea what I was cooking. We now have our own little house. It's very ugly, I know. But hey, it's better than nothing, right? I see a village. There's still villagers here, what? Alright, we need to save these villagers. Yo, get to your home, buddy. Go, go, go. Ooh, blast furnace. So as I was looting the village, I noticed something really cool. Okay, everybody's doing slash vote, so let me do that. I got a lapis crate. On day two, my money was now close to 18,000, and I began to browse the shop to buy stuff. Netherite is 5,000 a piece, and we can buy a villager egg too. Wow, okay. All right, let's actually go and open these crates. I set my spawn here, so we should be good. Yo, wait, we also got a heart too. So getting my first heart was pretty exciting, and of course, I ate it. Nice. All right, let's see what we get. The first crate only gave me money. And then I got a spawner. Cow spawner? It's kind of mid. A book? Sharpness one? Oh, that's so bad. Wait, let's see if we can get a free kill here. Oh, that was a bad idea. No, I'm combat tagged. I'm combat tagged. No, 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 no. I gotta go. I gotta go. After realizing my mistake, I quickly made a run for it. Okay, I don't think they can see me. All right, I'm teleporting home. I finally was able to retreat home, and thankfully everything was good. Oh, Lapis Crate Key. We'll go open that in a bit. Okay, I need to find a good spot to start building this base. Thinking like right here. After making my decision, I quickly began to start and build my base. Now for this base, I wasn't going for anything crazy, but here's a picture of the design. Alright, I'm hiding a little chest over here. It quickly turned nighttime, and I needed to get a water bucket. There we go, water. The goal was to make it look like a PvP fight happened above. Alright, the key is just make this look really, really bad, and nobody will expect it. I then tried to tame a horse, and it was not going good. There we go! Nice! I then began to dig out the inside of my base, and with my pickaxe, it was going to take a while. Alright, this is the start of our base. On day 3, I got straight to mining, as I needed to make this a lot bigger. Alright, then we can just swim up here. I would say this looks pretty believable. I then began to move all my stuff in. Alright, just set my home here. Let's put the cow spawner down. Wait, cows actually spawn in here? Oh, nah, whoops. Oh, four cows. So cows spawning in the base is going to be an issue, so I had to move them. So I don't think I can break it. After realizing I could break it, I then began building the room. This base is going to be cool when it's done. I just got to hope that it doesn't get raided while I'm gone. To finish the day, I went and opened up a crate. We got eight diamonds and we just got 50,000. Yes, sir. All right. Nice. Nice. On day four, I began to expand the inside of the base as I needed more room. I think I want to make this like a farm and put the cow spawner in here. So with the idea, I continue to make it into a small little farm, but we do need more dirt. There we go. All right, let's go back under. I forgot. We also have a diamond pickaxe. We need to be using this. So with my new diamond pickaxe, things are going a lot faster. After mining for a bit, I then went to go collect obsidian to make another portal. Alright, here's where my old base was. Let's take this water. I made sure to get enough obsidian for both another portal and an enchantment table. 
Alright, that should be enough. I'm gonna head back to the base now. When I returned to my base, I worked on both the cow farm and the sugarcane farm. Hey, there we go. On day 5, I started the day by looking for sugarcane. I quickly pulled up the shop and realized that I could just buy it. I then killed some sheep, then placed my sugarcane. I then began to expand the farm to make more profit. The base is coming together. I then finished day 5 by working on my base a bit. Alright, this is where the enchantment table will go. With the enchant table, I can now start making basic enchants. While buying lapis, I made a grave mistake. Oh wait, that was 38,000? Oh nah, whoops. I then began to kill cows for my bookshelves. Alright, we'll leave one. 29 leather. I placed the bookshelves and quickly got my first sword enchantment. I then sold some copper for $450. Day 6 was just a big mining trip and I'd ended up getting my first diamonds. One diamond. One whole diamond. It's so great. On day 7, I started working on decorations around the base. And then I began to sell stuff. How much does redstone go for, I wonder? 3,000, okay. Redstone might be our ticket to make money. What about iron? What about 10 iron? That wasn't even worth it. On day 7, I spent a lot of time working on the base and testing money strategies. Alright, we need to figure out where our nether portal is going to go. I was thinking maybe like right here. I built a separate room and began constructing the nether portal. Yo, look at that. Hopefully we don't die. No way, right next to a bastion? Oh, it's already raided though. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and teleport home. I teleported back home, did some work on the base, and that ended day 7. On day 8, we were off to an explosive start as three creepers randomly spawned next to me. I then began to collect a lot of dirt for my base as I was going to need it. I then stumbled upon a villager and I tried to trap him so I could bring him back to my base. No, don't run away. Don't run away, little bro. There you go. Alright, let's go. After I had the water, me and little bro headed back to the base. Here we go, the grand voyage. However, the journey was not easy. Oh wait, let me grab this water real quick, buddy. I finally made it back and it was time to deploy the villager. Alright, now we need to get you a lectern. Day 8 was a huge success, as I now had a little villager to help me trade stuff. At the start of day 9, I began collecting my sugar cane. Okay, so we need to set up our sugar cane farm. There's two buckets. Oh, we have a lapis crate too, what? Yeah, so these lapis crates just kept appearing out of nowhere. But honestly, it was a blessing. Change profession, buddy, please. I then began gathering more dirt to supply my sugar cane farm. I then returned back to the base and began planting the sugarcane, as well as placing down the water. 48? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of cows. I'm gonna go open these crates. I teleported back to spawn and opened my crate. Wow, cobwebs? Not ideal. Oh, I just got 10,000 as a reward. <gasps> Lapis crate? No way. This is where my luck dramatically increased. Three hearts? And another lapis crate? Oh, what is my luck, bro? That puts me at 15 hearts. And we have three more keys. If you guys could, please drop a like as well as subscribe. These videos take hours upon hours to make, so it would mean a lot. Thanks. Mini book? Nice. I then made a quick run to the nether in hopes that I could get some more levels to enchant my gear. And that concluded day 9. On day 10, I began organizing my chest because my loot was getting out of hand. I then expanded my storage, and then I began to kill cows to increase my level. I then bought three levels so that I could make a diamond axe. I quickly put it to the test and began hacking down a tree. And let's just say, I don't think Team Trees would be happy with me. I then collected a bunch of sugarcane and sold it. I then went out at night and began to kill mobs for extra levels. Please don't blow up. Everything was going good until this happened. No way, I died. I hope my loot's there, bro. If my loot despawned already, I'm gonna cry. Bro, come on, loot, please. Oh, thank goodness. Thankfully, I was able to recover a lot of my items, but unfortunately, I lost all of my levels. On day 11, I went into the nether again to hopefully mine a bunch more quartz to get more levels. Here we go, here's some quartz. I just need the levels, that's all I need. Hey, yo, what is that? Yo, you seen this, bro? 
After mining quartz the entire day, I neared the level of 18. After I ended my recording, something bad happened. So, uh, yeah, I logged on and I actually just fell in the nether and lost everything. This meant I had a lot of catching up to do, but thankfully I had a bunch of gear stored up. I then bought some more diamonds and used them to make a pickaxe. Guess I'm gonna go mine. I RTP'd and arrived in a spruce biome. My only hope was a good cave. Bro, why are you eating wood? I then traveled into this cave to see if I could get some good loot. I actually will grab these railroads. Maybe this hasn't been looted. There's still a lot of iron and stuff. At this point, I was mining everything because I was dead broke. There we go. Ooh, redstone, nice. This sells for a lot. I then stumbled upon some diamonds, and of course, I grabbed them. One, two. Hey, two diamonds, we'll take it. On day 13, I realized my inventory was getting pretty full, and I needed to make a return to my base. But thankfully, I had enough inventory space to collect a few more materials. And make sure you guys watch to the end, because this video only gets crazier. Yo, another chest. Yo, diamonds. Apple, some more iron. Oh, nah. What's this? Oh, yo, there's lava. Oh, wait, there's a pinata at spawn. So at the start of day 14, I immediately went to the pinata. Oh, nah, it's just the sweats, bro. So there were a ton of people here at this pinata, but I knew I had to take the risk to get some loot. Oh, that was a bad idea. No, I'm dead, bro. And just like that, everything I had was gone. But then a miracle happened. I just got 42 diamonds. No way. Bro, I gotta go home. I just got so many diamonds. Bro, that was actually worth it. No way. I just, oh my gosh. Yo, we got netherite too. Nice. And I got most of my stuff back. I then sold a lot of redstone and lapis and I made a ton of money. Yes, sir. We got some loot. On day 15, I went back to spawn because I saw a great opportunity to get some loot. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. I didn't do nothing wrong, Brody. Nah, I'm about to steal all this kid's loot. I began chasing them down in hopes that I could grub up the last kill. Yo, we just dipped. What? I just got all that kid's loot. Yo. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Nah, this is so clutch. I need to go back to my base now. So my plan worked. The guy was already super rich, and I guess he just didn't want the stuff because he didn't need it. Now we got full diamond, bro. This is so epic. How much are diamonds worth even? Sell 700 a piece. No, nah, it's not even worth this sell, bro. What? On day 16, I began to build a zombie farm in hopes that I could farm some more levels. Wait, it doesn't even move. It's gonna make this a lot better. I continued mining out the space for the zombie farm, but I realized the zombies didn't move at all. Oh, bro, floating, what? I then had to go to the nether to get soul sand. Yo, chill. While I was looking for soul sand, I grabbed quartz as well to get my levels. And I fought some zombie pigmen. Why is there seven pigmen on that guy? Oh man, there's 15 now? Yeah, that was a lot of levels. After getting jumped by a billion zombie pigmen, I then continued to look for soul sand. Oh nah, one bad move bro and I'm dead. I just need some soul sand brother. Alright, I guess I'm gonna try to build out on this. I got e-pearls at the ready. I was finding plenty of quartz, but I had yet to find any soul sand. I then continued my exploration and ended up in some forest and collected the wood while I was there. My search for soul sand continued into day 17. Nah, that's a whole stack of Enderman, bro. Oh, nah. So yeah, when I was fighting those Endermen, I barely escaped, but I continued exploring. Oh, nah, not a giant magma cube. Alright, bro, come on, give me a banger enchant, please. Oh, I need lapis, whoops. Here we go. Yo! Oh my goodness, bro. That's literally the best roll we could get. Okay, now we just need an anvil. Bro, this is so hype. All right, anvil acquired. I decided it was smart to go back and use my levels, which is what I did, but I still didn't have any soul sand for the farm. Oh, six levels though? Oh, nah. We're doing it. We have a max pickaxe now. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's like creative mode. 
Bro, look at this thing. It's a beast. With my new super pickaxe, I was making progress like a madman. Everything was going great. All right, let's sell all this. 8,000, not terrible. On day 18, I started off my day by selling some stuff for 100k. I then collected my gold and began to work on netherite stuff. 25 airdrops? Nah, we're going for that. We are going for those airdrops. When the airdrops came in, I quickly ran to see if I could grab a couple. I'm breaking three. No. I quickly realized this may have been a mistake as this player began to try to kill me. I punched him right in the face and I made a run for it. Oh no, nah, he's trying to kill me. He's still there. He's still following me. He is still following me, bro. This kid kept chasing me for a solid 10 minutes, and he would not let up. I spammed blocks and tried to block his path, but it wasn't enough. He got me, bro. He got the Unbreaking 3 book, no. After I died, I returned back to my base. We're back. On day 19, I began to work on the villager trades to see if I could get Mindy. Oh, there we go. I then began to do some remodeling on the base. And we're expanding the opening entryway. For day 20 and 21, I spent a lot of my time in the nether to try to make a lot more progress as well as gain some more levels. Got another nether portal. I'm gonna break it. There we go. Alright, continue the hunt. This was also my attempt to get another piece of soul sand as I had still not found any. Wait, is that soul sand? No way. I'll believe it when I see it. Alright, we gotta throw this. There we go. Finally! This took way too long to find. I'm getting as much of this as possible. I never want to see this block again. Why? All right, let me go home, please. There we go. We're back. Yes, sir. And we got the soul sand. Never thought I'd be so hyped to see a block, but with this final block, I can now finish my farm. However, due to certain server plugins, my farm was not going to work as well as I had hoped. On day 22, I started the day off by collecting my crops. Then I started to make progress on making my base. Oh yeah, these are definitely better. Alright, I guess I'll sell the sugar cane. Then I had some cows escape, and I had to put them back in their place. I then began to dig out more of the base, and expand. On day 23, I began collecting coal so that I could have some for my furnaces. I also grabbed some wood, because I just needed it for base projects. I then went and collected sand for my base. I then crafted more furnaces so I could smell more ore and make more money. I then upgraded my nether portal. And then I upgraded my enchantment room to make it look better. On day 24, I began by grinding more levels because I needed level 30. Alright, we're out of zombies. Alright, let's go crack open uh, these crates real quick. Yo, what is this? Community chest? I'll put in some loot for him. Okay, what is this? Sacrifice hearts for loot? Alright, let's do it. I did one heart. Six diamonds, bro. For one heart? That's horrible. You gave me a netherite sword. Thank you, bro. Yo, what? Shout out that guy for real. <laughs> We're gonna use this to farm things now. Yo, why is that actually worth a lot? What? <laughs> for rotten flesh? It's pretty good. On day 25, I started the day by enchanting and creating some new gear so that I would have a backup set. Rock 3... Fire protection 3. So while the enchants weren't the best, I definitely knew they would be better than nothing. Ooh, I'm breaking 3? Yo, wait. I could combine the two. How many zombies we got? 13? They don't spawn as fast as I think- Oh. Okay. This thing like insta-kills them, it's kinda neat. After enchanting my gear, I then began to work on the base a bit. On day 26, I began to assemble a team. And honestly, it was going really good. I then asked for a potion and a totem. I then started beefing with some kid and decided to fight him. No way, I'm dead! After getting clapped in the fight, I jumped straight back to it. Dang bro, I just lost another heart. Alright, well, I'm down bad right now. That's right, though. I still have my pickaxe, so I'm just gonna go mine for a bit. Thankfully, my team sent me some spare gear, so I wasn't completely lost. Okay, nice. We got diamond armor. I ended day 25 opening a crate. Good. Some more crates? Something. 
Three hearts? Yo, wait, I just got five hearts, what? On day 26 and 27, my goal was to make a lot more progress and explore. I then bumped into some monsters and decided to go mine coal. Oh no, what do we got here? I then stumbled into a cave and found redstone. Yes, sir. There's another one. Yo, we're at eight diamonds now. Nice. How many creepers are there? Oh my gosh. I then found a real spawner. A name tag. On day 28 and 29, all I did was collect diamonds as well as other resources on my mining trip. Nice. Collecting these diamonds is going to be very useful. Oh, that's a lot. Alright, that's enough mining for one day. On day 30, I started off by making some more progress on our base. Only two zombies? Oh, nah. Alright, we just need an AFK here. I then spent the day AFKing for levels. Alright, we currently have 65 zombies, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys. So yeah, to start day 31, all I did was kill some zombies. There we go. 21 levels now. I then sold some sugar cane. And then I added barrels to my storage. After doing this, I began to expand the inside of my base. Then I set up an entire farm room to plant some fresh veggies. There we go, now we have a little farm. On day 32, I was now in the jungle preparing to find a good spot to mine. I mined down a deep slate level and found redstone as well as some lapis. And then I stumbled upon a ton of diamonds. On day 33, I spent the beginning of my day collecting jungle samples as well as other materials from the jungle. Then I went back to my base and started farming my cows. Wait, I actually do want to sell this redstone. So yeah, after selling this redstone, I knew it was going to be a very good money maker. I finished up day 33 by just cleaning up the base and making more progress. On day 34, it wasn't very exciting. All I did was farm a ton of levels because I needed level 30. On day 35, I made my very first attack on spawn, but first I needed to open my crates. No, bro, not these. Oh, man, we always gotta check these chests, bro. Okay, nothing good. Is that the Grinch? Hey, yo. Somebody's down there. After exploring the community a bit, it was time to fight. And thankfully, one of my biggest enemies was here. This fake techno guy from day one. I would jump down there, but like, bro, I don't want to lose this stuff. After my valid point, I then went back and switched out my armor kit. Come here, buddy. Oh no, he's trying to get away? I don't know where bro's going. <laughs> he really think he can escape me? Then out of nowhere, I fell. Oh nah. What is this, bro? I didn't even notice this. Oh, no, I completely missed. And then, I got jumped. I'm dead, bro. Oh, nah. Bro, wait, nah. That spawn's actually crazy. Thankfully, I just had a bozo kit, so I wasn't really too worried. I then tried to steal some loot off these kids, and they were very angry. Where'd this kid go? And before I knew it, I'm dead, bro. Oh my gosh. On day 36, I started my day as a humble farmer, planting his crops. I then set up some organization inside of my base. I want to try to surround spawn. Question is, what block should I do it? Should I, I'm just going to use cobble, honestly. After my devious plan spawned in my head, I immediately took action upon it. Oh man, I can already see the outside of spawn. What a disaster. <laughs> It's not as bad as the other side, though. And just like that, I had started the greatest project on the server. The plan was to cover the entire outside of spawn with cobble, creating an entire wall that no one could pass. Alright, we're just gonna start building the wall. Anyway, we're gonna need a lot more cobblestone to do this. I thought I saw somebody. Yo, chill. 
before day 36 ended, I realized I was going to need some help. So I recruited none other than my teammates. I just TP'd my teammate. And just like that, we had another helper. After spending a great deal of time working on the wall and communicating with signs, we were making progress. As day 36 came to a close, I then teleported to my teammate's base to collect more cobble and hopefully help him out on some projects. He also gave me another set of diamond as I had lost my last one. On day 37, he requested that I help him build a storage room in exchange for some loot and help on my project. So as the great teammate I am, I immediately got to work on building this epic storage room. The goal was to use the rest of day 37 to finish this build and things were going smoothly. I finished up the outside of the wall and began to replace the ceiling and then before we knew it we had chests. I then named all the chests accordingly and the deal was done. He quickly thanked me via sign and I had got some good loot from the deal. Nothing crazy, just some diamonds as well as some extra gear. Day 38 through 45 was really just a grind period so let me sum it up for you. I went to spawn and collected airdrop loot. Bro, I'm an actual rat. Oh, never mind. It's all mid. I then made some great progress on the base as well as expanded the bottom layer. The next couple days were spent replacing all the blocks and making it look fairly nice. Then I went to open a heart crate. Come on, please give me some loot. Six diamonds. Oh, nah. Wait, we gotta kill somebody. The next day, I spent building my wall to cover the entirety of spawn. Then I went to go upgrade my armor. There we go, we're fresh. Then I went to go raid a pinata to get some loot. Oh no, this kid's after me, bro. Chill. And before I knew it, something bad happened. Nah, bro, I feel lost everything. That's crazy. Also, I think we got our uh, daily reward. And claim that another two hearts, as well as a lapis crate key. So we're gonna go open this. Please give me something good. I then suffered from depression after getting terrible loot, but thankfully some kid traded me some stuff. I then jumped into the PvP area to take my anger out. Yo, we got a kill, there we go. No way he got me, bro. After losing all my stuff, I then started to grind and try to get it all back. Wow, one whole level. I then made a trip to the nether to get some better loot. Yo, ancient debris right here. Oh, I thought it fell. I collected a ton of quartz because I knew I was going to get a lot of levels. I then went and killed a ton of zombie pigmen. I got level 30. On day 45, I didn't really do too much except organize my chest because let me tell you, my base was a complete mess. I then went and started crafting some brand new netherite armor. So finally, after all that grind time, it started to pay off. Alright, so we're back on, and uh, I just logged on this morning, and... Wait. Bro, what is this? Somebody found my base? Average game, your base is like a bit too open. Make it deep slate level so it's harder to find. Your villager now has prop for trade. I don't know if you want it though. Message King Crow when online for details, I guess. Yes, I won't leak the base courts. King Crow. Also, great design. I didn't take anything other than the wood used for these. Also, use bubble elevators to get up and down besides the water. Art. Bro, what? Nah. This guy's so chill. So he didn't raid my base, but I had to check if he was online. However, it turned out that he was not online. I then made repairs to my base. I really only had one strategy, and that was to place blocks and essentially surround it and make it look like a PvP fight. Because clearly last time, it didn't look like one. After doing some work above and making my base less noticeable, I then began replacing all the wall inside my cow farm because it was very ugly. 
And that was the end of day 46. Day 47 was basically a base cleanup day. I didn't really do too much, but I did make a lot of progress on organizing as well as getting more levels. I then also decided to make a trip to the nether after killing a lot of zombies. I collected a lot of quartz as well as a lot of XP, and then something tragic happened. All right, we're gonna grab this quartz and uh, oh, yo, what the? Oh no, 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 bro, I can't die here. I quickly popped the gapple and tried to e pearl my way out, but it was not working. All right, let's just mine in here. Hurry, hurry, go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Oh no, there's more lava. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way I get out of this. There's no way. Yeah, it's over. It's over. yeah above me. Okay, yeah, it's over. Yep, GG's, GG's. There goes all of my stuff. Wow. I ate a steak and made my final attempt to survive, but it was not enough. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. I gotta clutch up. No! And just like that, we were back to square one. On day 48, I started the day by making a brand new diamond pickaxe, and it was a grind day. I had to make a lot of progress to get back to where I was. I started by grinding XP levels to get my level up because I was currently level two. I did everything I could to ensure that my progress was not held up. Day 49 was very productive as I was about to encounter a raid. Oh, what do these guys want, bro? Oh no, wait, it started. No, 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 no. No, this is bad, this is bad. I gotta trap the villagers. Come on, I gotta get to the bell. I gotta make sure everybody's trapped. Oh wow, wait, wait. Come here, buddy. All right, round two, wait, 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 let me grab some armor, please. I then grab my armor and continue to fight the raid. Here they are, let's go. Two more guys. Oh no, 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 wait, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Now, let me see if I can use this creeper to my advantage. Gotta take this dude out, oh nah. Finally, the raid was coming to an end, and I only had a few more guys to kill. He's just terrorizing the village. Now we can't let that slide. I'm running. Finally, even with diamond armor, we barely survived. On day 50 to 53, I used the time to explore and upgrade my gear. Hopefully they're pretty cheap. A channeling? Wait, what? So yeah, somehow the trade had reset. I then began to enchant some gear. Legs we can get, I'm breaking three, and boots, I'm breaking three. So either way, it'd probably be pretty good. I did a bit of organizing, and then I decided to go and make myself a brand new helmet. I then also threw netherite on my chest plate to give it an upgrade. For the rest of day 51, I RTP'd in hopes to find a good mining spot to collect more diamonds. Oh, what is this? After killing the pillager, I then went into the pillager outpost and discovered that it was looted. I then noticed I was surrounded by cherry blossoms, and I went to collect some saplings. So I RTP'd again, and found myself in a pretty cool cave, so I collected all the resources I could, and that was it for day 51. On day 52, I stumbled further into the cave, and was about to encounter something crazy. I just want diamonds bro, not the warden. Oh no, nah. it's a city. This is so dumb, why am I doing this? Yeah bro, I don't, I don't know if I wanna do this, honestly. Yo, I could shoot him. I missed, just barely. Oh wait, I have one more loaded crossbow. Here we go. Oh, I hit him. Nah, get me out of here. Nah, I'm TPing home. I'm TPing home. Nah. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, that was scary. On day 53 to 55, I spent a lot of time negotiating with my villagers to try to get some beefy trades. And I may or may not have lost audio because I was watching Netflix. But that didn't matter because I got mending. I then spent some time in the caves collecting a lot of resources to sell and hopefully make a profit of around 20000 on day 56, I spent some more time mining, but unfortunately did not find any diamonds at all. But on day 57 and 58, things would change because I switched spots. I found a nice deserty biome and began to mine. 
and before I knew it, I had tons of diamonds. On day 59, I teleported to spawn and attempted to kill some kids and get some loot. And we just murked that kid for 32 gold. <laughs> no way they got all these already, what? Here, you can have your gold back. So this guy ended up dropping me some insane books. I have no idea where he got. He just gave me some insane books. What? I then upgraded my netherite leggings, and that ended day 59. On day 60 to 63, I spent a lot of time leveling up my armor as well as my boots because I needed some new ones. I also spent a lot of time grinding money to try to reach 1 mil. Let's go ahead and sell all that. I kind of want to start a new area. I have this place way at the bottom, but I just need more moss blocks. But I was thinking maybe if this went into like a giant room or something. So my idea was to make another giant farm. That way I could have double the XP and money. I need a mending book so bad. After searching the market for a bit, I finally found one. And yeah, we'll buy one. I then upgraded my pickaxe. Let's go see what's going on up top. All right, not too much, honestly. I think we're chill. Knockback two, that's so mid. I then began to kill zombies so I could get a lot more XP. Day 63, I spent repairing my pickaxe and making progress on the base. Alright, let's see how much this heals our pickaxe. Okay, a little bit. There we go, that was pretty cheap. I then arranged my items so I could have a more organized chest. On day 64, I began collecting a ton of dirt for my giant sugarcane farm. Alright, that should be enough dirt. That's quite a bit. I then went down to the sugarcane farm and started placing the dirt. I then dug the trenches for the water so I could plant the crops. I then added the water. I then collected sugarcane so that I could go down and plant it. Alright, there we go. Now we just gotta wait for this sugar cane to grow. On day 65, it was very exciting because I was about to get something very good. There's about to be a pinata, so I want to get a good sword by then. Alright, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take on that pinata, but I still need a lot more levels. Alright, two hearts. Down the drain. Wow. I lost two hearts for that, bro. That was actually so bad. That was horrible. <laughs> Let's see if what's going on. Oh, nah. I was now waiting for the pinata to spawn. What is that armor trim, bro? Nah, how did bro get that? Pinata, here we go. It's in, it's in. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Just follow the players. Oh, I see it. Oh, nah. Oh, we're going in. Yo, I'm picking this kid off. I just got the whole pinata. All right, we're going home, we're going home. 12 diamonds, three netherite scraps, and a crate key. That was actually a pretty successful run. That was definitely worth it. On day 66 to 70, I made a lot of progress on the base, the wall, and PVP. It's looking good. Let's sell the rest of this stuff. $6,000, pretty good. I then began to expand on another room down in the bunker. All right, I'm not sure what I want to put in this room yet. We have two rooms I don't know what to do with. I guess we'll start on this one too. Also, all of this stone is going to be good for our mission at spawn, which we need to actually go check that. I think tomorrow we'll go check and see how our wall is doing. The next day, I made my journey to see how our wall was holding up. I don't think anybody saw me. All right, question is our wall still here? It is, okay, good. I then started attacking the project. This is where things get a, a bit chaotic over here. <laughs> Alright, we made it all the way around. you love to see that. The next day, I began to work on my sugarcane farm. We need some more dirt, so let's go get those. Oh, the pinata is spawning. There's 85 people on. Oh, nah. 
Oh nah, look how many people there is. I then jump straight in to try to get the loot. No way, he got me. Oh wow, there was three of them. I tried not to take the loss to heart, so I stole my gear and ran. I ran with everything I had, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Dude, what is his sword, bro? I lost everything, bro. I quickly realized it wasn't just my armor I had lost. I lost my super pickaxe. The next day, I planned to get my get back, get all my gear, and build a bunker. Now since we were on day 70, I had no time to waste, so I got to work. The goal of the bunker was to isolate myself from the other world and get straight to work. After gathering all my materials, I then began to dig out the space from my bunker underneath my bunker. Then on day 71, I journeyed back to spawn. Alright, so as you keep seeing this thing called a coin flip, so basically the coin flip was just gambling to another level. All right, I created a coin flip for 100k. Oh, here we go. Come on, please. I just lost. Please. Again? Oh, nah. All right, that's all my money. We either win or lose. Here we go. Oh, nah, oh, nah, oh, nah, 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 please. If I lose again, it's a scam. <gasps> I won. Nice. I won. Let's go. And do we go all in? I'll do another 100,000. Not this kid again. We won, yes. I'm going 160. No Slim Shady. Oh, nah. Oh, we win this. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. All right, we're at 434K. I'm going to stop there. So after somehow making a profit through gambling, I now had close to half a million dollars. But unfortunately, the gambling curse got me. Created a coin flip. We got to win on this. Oh, he already bought? Oh, nah. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this one. Oh, wait, I won. No way, I just won. All right, we got to send him money back. So somebody recognized me in the server, and I borrowed money from him. We're so positive, but I, I can't. I can't do it. We're already at 600k. I made so much profit from Bitcoin flips. All right, so we finally got uh, some zombies ready. So we're going to go ahead and kill these guys. 75k from... What? That's so worth. Coin flip for 160k. Oh, no, please. Oh, I'm winning this. I win. No! 200k in the pot. I win, I win. What? Yeah, we're putting all our money. Alright, there's all my money. 170k. Oh, nah, somebody spun it. Oh, no, I'm cooked. <gasps> no! I just lost all my money. See, kids, this is why you don't gamble. On day 74, I was in the base attempting to make another pickaxe. There we go, level 30. Finally. On day 75, I spent the entire day trying to max out my gear, and we should have plenty of levels. Ooh, there we go. Oh, nah. 22k, there we go. I'm breaking three. There we go. I finally got good armor and a max pickaxe. On day 76, I set out to go mine a ton of materials. I already have like a decent bit, but we need to get more. So without any hesitation, I teleported and went to go mine. The goal was to get as many resources as I could so that I could sell it and make a lot of profit. What's up, buddy? I then stumbled into a mine chat and actually found pretty good loot. Oh, no. Nah. What was that? There we go, diamonds. Thanks to Fortune 3, I got four diamonds. I then teleported out to go find a new cave to find more resources. And then I found the cave underwater. Oh my gosh, it keeps going. Here we go. No way I just found this cave, what? I then grabbed some lapis. That was pretty much it. Then on day 77, I made my return back to my base. I then started crafting and organizing my blocks. All right, there we go. Our ores are looking pretty good. Now, the next thing on our list is to build a giant farm. And so, like I said, I went out and started my farm. Oh, okay. That's not good. Thanks for the help. 
I then continued digging because I was going to need a lot of dirt. I then went down to the farm and began to place the dirt. I then started to work on the farm and planted my potatoes. And then to wrap the day up, I collected my sugar cane and sold it for a nice profit of 22k. Uh -huh. On day 78, I began to make more progress on the base and expand my farms as well as my basement. I then went up top and had another quest. Alright, the goal is going to be to get the other villager in here. So let's go do that. So I crafted myself a boat and got to it. What's up buddy? Alright, let's get you back. I then started to make the journey back to my base. However, it was not easy at all. It was so difficult in fact that I literally dug an entire path all the way back. Alright, here we go. There we go, we did it. I then searched the market to find a pig spawner. Oh, we'll get this one too. I also grabbed a cave spider one for a different room. Using my cave spider, I then decided to build a farm around it. After I completed it, that ended day 78. On day 79, I set out to enchant a lot of my gear as well as level up my items. I think my first step is gonna be to get levels. So let's go do that. All right, there we go, level 30. So all this poopy stuff, there we go. Okay, all this stuff is still growing, so we'll wait on that. Only two, bro, what? I then began to enchant a brand new chest plate and a good shovel. We have plenty of enchanted pickaxes. I guess I will make a helmet and boots. I'm breaking three, I'm breaking three. Okay, go ahead and put this stuff away. And while we gather more levels, we can be working on the next task, which is some exploration. Now we haven't really explored too much, so we need to go do this. So immediately, I teleported out. There's not really too much here. What do we got down here? A base, maybe? Question is, is it looted? Yep, it is. Oh, yo, what's up, buddy? Yo, he's so fast. We're gonna name you George. George the Rabbit. I e pearled across because I saw a cherry blossom biome. All right, we'll build it right on this cliff face. So in case you're wondering what I was building, I decided to build little houses everywhere I traveled so you guys could find them. Alright, there we go. But if one of you guys finds this, let me know in the comments. Alright, we got a pretty cool biome over here. Let's go look at these cherry blossoms up here. Oh no, I'm freezing to death. Help. No, get me out of here. No way it's turning dark again, bro. Oh my gosh. It was now day 80, and I set out to continue my journey of exploration. All right, Cal, I'm going to have you test this drop for me, all right? Oh, he survives. That'll be bro. I then jumped into the ravine to build my base. Here we go. Please don't die. There we go. Nice. All right, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to grab an ender pearl. Come on. Oh, I made it. This guy's trying to punch me off. Let's go on to the next location. Okay, we got a basic birch forest. Got a little bit of Antarctica over here. Wait, we got a little structure down here. Anything inside? Fishing rod. I continue to make my journey across the Arctic, hoping to find something cool. Oh, wait, yo, chill. Yo, I was just trying to give you some food. Don't attack me, bro. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, nah. Nah, he changed his mind. He doesn't want to be friends. All right, let's go to the next area. And we're in the same spot. Wait, we can build a little fishing hut over here. Wait. Alrighty, now we got a little fishing hut. Let's try this baby out. Yeah, so let's just say I didn't have the best look fishing. On to the next spot. I teleported again and got a normal oak biome. This time for this structure, I'm going to build a little boat.
As I walked a bit, I stumbled upon a village. I know what we have to do. On day 81, I headed back from the raided village. And when I got back, my base had been raided. There we go. Crops are planted. Now we need to get bookshelves. Although they didn't break anything. Rip our villager. Super sad he died, but it's whatever. On day 82, I spent most of the day trying to get the base back in order because everything was messed up. Once it cleaned up, I then went to spawn to open up some of my crates. Mid with more mid. We have two hearts we can use, so let's use them here. There's a zombie spawner. Okay, that works. Another zombie spawner. Okay. After I opened my crates, I then headed out to go mine. Hey, yo! What the? Bro, I almost died. This cave is crazy. Here we go. We got another geode here. Oh, this one's cool. It's like floating. I've never seen that before. Oh, no way. There's a mine shaft too? Oh, no. Somebody was already here. I then sold some of my ore, and that concluded day 82. On day 83, I went back to spawn and opened some more crates. Okay, we got $7,000. Something good, please. No. All right, we got one more. Mid with more mid. All right, we do have a life though, which means we can use this. All right, last one. Here we go. Please give me something good. Lapis crate, maybe? $2,000. All right, wow. After not making much profit on the crates, I then crafted some shulker boxes. I then gave a new player some loot. I don't even think bro's gonna accept. On day 84, I was back at my base and everything was still there, so that was a win. After selling some rotten flesh, I then started to make progress on building my base. And then I sold some of my crops. After selling my crops, I started to build a giant sky base, because why not? I finished up the first starter layer, and then I broke the blocks down. And then I began to expand. The expansion took most of the day, but I made very good progress for day one. On day 85, I continued to work on the sky base to finish it off. Okay, I'm gonna begin expanding. I think I'm gonna use dirt on the top. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot of dirt. <laughs> so wasting no time, I immediately started to collect a lot of dirt. After I had the dirt, I then went back to my base and began to place it. Alright, we're making progress. It's definitely going to need a lot of, lot of work. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this looks. Hey, yo. Oh, nah, wait. Yeah, so the design was really ugly, so I had to fix it. All I did was use a block that contrasted better with the dirt. Okay, we need more deep slate. Wait, let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's looking a lot cooler. On day 86, I started to collect deep slate for my base. Alright, we just need to keep getting deep slate, and we should be able to get quite a bit with this good pickaxe. Considering we have efficiency 5, this shouldn't take very long. Hey, there we go. We got diamonds. Holy man, bro. We got a lot. Oh man, fortune did not clutch up. <gasps> There's more? No way. No way. Was that two veins of diamonds? Hey, there we go. We got more. No way. I grabbed all my diamonds and deep slate, and then I crafted the blocks necessary for the base. There we go. All right, I also decided I don't really like these pillars. I then checked on one of my villagers to see if he had any good trades. No way they ruined my trades? Did they steal one? Wait, no way, what is this? I did not make this. So whoever tried to raid my base also tried to kidnap a villager. There is actually no way. Okay, and then what, they took him down here? Ooh, we got a chest. Nothing good. Steal that. I returned to my base and then I sold some of my loot. Then I started to build a little house on top of my island. And I'm gonna use this to store like 
crafting table wherever my furnace went wait did it fall off oh nah wait the, where's my furnace so yeah i found my furnace finished the house and then i logged off for the day it's our first build on the island it's kind of nice i guess day 87 i logged back on and began to work on my base we definitely need some more dirt up here i'm definitely gonna place torches so mobs don't spawn because the least thing we need is a bunch of creepers and before i got to work i sold some crops All right, what's worth more, a potato or a carrot? Let's find out. Oh, they're worth the same. Okay. All right, there we go. It should be good. Now we just need to make an enchantment table. There we go, enchantment table. After completing some base work, I dug out a part of the base, and then I went fishing. And then for some odd reason, I created a diving board. Yo, we got a diving board now. Look how luxurious this is. On day 88, I set out to expand my giant sugarcane farm. Alright, our sugarcane's ready, so we're gonna grab this. I harvested both the big farm and the little farm and sold it all. Alright, let's sell all this stuff. Holy man, almost $30,000. I think we can make this better. So knowing I can make more profit, I decided to double the farm. The hardest part was gonna be to mine all this out, which took me the whole day. Thankfully, I had a few minutes left before the day ended, so I was able to get some more dirt, as well as place all the blocks needed for the farm. I also claimed my daily reward and got some good stuff. Alright, we have four crates now, that's good. But now we just need to fill these with water, and we've essentially doubled our money, so this should make us 60000 every time we collect it. I planted all the crops, and that ended day 88. To start day 89, I went to go open some crates. Mons, give me some crates. <laughs> no, I was so close. My main goal for the day was to start some redstone. Oh, finally redstone. Let's go. All right, let's go build our contraption. Make sure you watch because this contraption is wild. All right, there we go. Target block acquired. Now I just need a dropper. So I put that there. I put this inside and put this here. And then I... Okay, wait, wrong item. I quickly realized I needed a dispenser and not a dropper. So if I do this, take this. All right, let's test this. Okay, it works. Day 90 was going to be my second testing day for my invention. Let's make that one more time. Two TNT. Once I had all my materials, I then began to build one of my very first redstone contraptions. Yeah, and then this should go like right here. Now, if I do this... It works! Yes! We did it! Our redstone contraption worked! After my great success on day 90, I began to work on my sky base. My main goal at the moment was to collect a ton of dirt for the sky base outline. No! Oh my gosh! Oh, we're so lucky. To be considered the richest, I was going to need a lot of brewing stations because we were going to need a lot of potions. I would also need a well to collect water bottles for the actual brewing process. And yes, I decided to make it a little fancy. I then filled up some of my water bottles and then I looked for components that I would need to brew. Yeah, there we go. Awkward potion. Nice. All right, I want to go build a house and be able to sell it to the community. So I'm going to go RTP and uh, I guess build it. Yo, wait, this is a perfect spot right here. Once I had the spot, I began to clear it out. All right, I want to build it like right here because we need to have some real estate, bro. We got to be able to sell some houses. So, oh, I actually have a chest too. I'll use this to store all the blocks and I just need to begin chopping trees. So yeah, the first task was to chop a ton of trees because I was going to need a ton of blocks. After I had some resources, I began to lay out the foundation for the base. Now that I had the foundation finished, it was time to lay out the rest of the base. There we go. All right, now we just need sand and some stairs and we should be good. And then obviously add the roof. And then make a bunch of lanterns. There we go. No, I literally need four more. 
Since I needed deep slate anyway, I figured it was a good opportunity to build a whole mine to add value to the property. I finished up the base and now it was time to sell it. Looks very symmetric. Alright, now we just need to find somebody to sell this to. Alright, so I messaged one of my friends and he said he would buy the house. So let's uh let's go ahead and TP him. What do you think, bro? W house? I bet. Alright, is he gonna pay me? Oh, he just sent me- <gasps> WATCH OUT! Just sent me a hundred dollars, bro. I then told him he needed to add a few more zeros to that. Price, a hundred K. Oh, there we go. He paid me a hundred K. Property of Storm Westfield, Gabe Minecraft Homes. Enjoy the base, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. We sold our first home. All right, I invited Storm to my team. I decided since it was close to day 100, I should add a teammate. Once he arrived, I gave him a quick tour of the base. This, and then in here, after I showed him the main base, I then showed him the sky base I was working on and told him to jump. And to say the least, I don't think he trusted me for a bit. Come on, jump down. One more thing. Alright, it was now time to show Storm my most prized possession, the diving board. <laughs> Yo! For the next couple days, I hired Storm to help me build the wall around spawn. Having two people is going to make this a lot easier. Together, we first collected cobblestone, and then we harvested all the cobble we had and placed it on the wall. And while we were busy mining, we discovered something weird. Who is this? Yeah, so it didn't really do anything, so we decided to move on. Alright, the wall is complete. So we had officially completed the wall, and to celebrate, I had a coin flip with Storm. I won! I then used my last day to open some crates and celebrate. No! Let's see what I get. Come on. Something not mid, please. I got some diamonds. Let's sell these. Please! I'm done, bro. On day 97 and 98, we prepared for the fight of a lifetime. We were about to fight the Ender Dragon. We crafted ourselves some nether armor as well as some bows. I made 16k from Trigger King. Alright, I need 90k more and then that's it. Then we'll officially have a million dollars. Once the bows are made, I then enchanted them because we need all the damage we could get. I threw our first Ender Pearl and the journey began. After not even 10 minutes, we threw a pearl and it went the opposite way, meaning we had passed it. No way we found it bro already. Yes sir! We then barreled our way through the gates and then headed to the ender portal. However, we did get a bit lost throughout the journey. Then I was attacked by a little creature. Nah, where is this thing bro? I then stumbled upon a library. Yo wait, we're gonna get so many books. No way? Three diamonds, efficiency for- wait, why was that actually a good chest, what? After a good 15 minutes, we finally found it. And then Storm jumped. Alright, he went first. And then I quickly joined them. Alright, we're here. And, uh, well, obviously, this place, it's been through a lot, honestly. Well, um... I then quickly realized I didn't bring this stuff to respawn it. Storm then made fun of me in Discord, and I went back home and collected all the stuff. I went ahead and downgraded my gear, because uh, once this spawns, we're going to be in trouble. Because I realized all the players are going to show up as well. Alright, here we go. We're spawning this thing. The dragon spawned in, and we prepared to fight. Oh no. Alright, time to climb this one. I quickly climbed up, but then I realized he got them all. I'm heading back down. I think he got all the crystals, because he's not rehealing. Oh, here he is. Oh, nah. Ah, where'd he go? It's a very... F oh, I hit it. Where'd he go? Get him! Go, 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 go! Oh, nah! 
Yes, sir. The dragon had been killed so many times, so I only got six levels. However, we got the achievement done. Uh, wait, why did I just jump through there? Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, no. Nah. Wait, 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 wait. I might actually be dead. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay. Day 99 was my last chance to hit a million dollars. I sold 42 diamonds for 30k, so I only have a stack left. Um, yeah, honestly, it was pretty mid. I began to sell everything I could to make money. One netherite. I should have some left. Yeah, there we go. Two netherite. All right, the furnaces are running. And while that's running, I'm going to list some of my armor. Alright, I just listed that for 30k. I then collected all my crops to sell. There's another 5k. And yeah, there's another 7. Alright, let's sell all that. Alright, let's sell all this. We should get quite a bit from this. We only need less than 20k. Oh, wow. Okay, wait, we might actually be able to hit it with this. I might have it. Wait, 9 gold, 50 copper. Let's sell this. Almost 5k. Dang, we're getting so close. Wait, 47 in here. There's another 2k. I sell 8 diamonds. We did it. We're millionaires. We officially hit the 1 mil mark. Oh my gosh. On day 100, I decided it was time to harness all of my money and power that I've collected over the server and use it to conquer it. I started my stream and allowed everybody that joined to join the server and join my team. Flyboy's on the team. There we go. Using my resources, I supplied my team with gear. Wait, we need this kid to join. Hey, come back. I invited him. Wait, let me give him a chess piece. We're going to get all of our players geared. Let me get you one too, chicken. Hold on. There we go. Our army is growing, boys. Hey, yo, Felix. Felix didn't join our team. However, our army was still growing. Make sure you stand inside. All right, you guys ready? There's one kid out there. All right, let's go, let's go. I'm going. We then rushed this kid to try to kill him. However, things didn't go as planned. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get him. Jump him. Oh, nah. Wait, 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 wait. Why is he actually critting me? No way. No way I'm already dead, bro. <laughs> this game is so bad. Oh, nah. I'm about to lose all my stuff. I had died again, however, something clutch was about to happen. <laughs> I'm dead again, bro. No shot. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Yeah, so this funny little Grinch guy was actually really rich. <laughs> wait, I'm actually so confused. How did bro have so much money? I went back to my base and began to TP my entire army, but things were about to go really bad. How is bro so rich? Bro, what? How is this guy so rich? I placed down some of the gearboxes he had given us to gear up my team. However, things were about to turn for the worst. Wait, yo, this guy thinks he's him. What? Guys, get him. Oh, nah, they, they just betrayed us. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, this is a bad idea. I tried to escape into my other base. However, they were following me and things were going bad. Somehow, I was able to climb up the tube and tried to run. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, bro. I'm done. I'm actually done. Oh, nah. Wait, we actually got rolled. But I wasn't going to give up. Look at him, bro. Oh, nah. They're keeping their whole team. We actually got trolled. Wait, wait. <laughs> they're chasing me. I'm hiding the sugar cane for him. Oh, no. He's looking around. He's looking around. <laughs> no. He found me. No. I'm dead. Just like that, I was dead again. But I couldn't quit. I got to give it one last go, bro. I feel so bad for this kid, man. He just gave me all this stuff. I'm going to fight this fight like a man. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going in. Wait, I know an escape route. I know an escape. Oh, no, I'm dead. I then tried to gather my army and make an attack. All right, wait, we got to utilize our materials here. All right, I see you TPA. Grab your stuff, grab stuff. All right, here. We got some resources. Bro, can you equip a little faster? I still see name tags down there. Follow me. Here we go. For freedom. Everybody type your goodbyes. Goodbye, chat. All right, here we go, boys. Going down. <laughs> no way they left. And to no surprise, they hadn't left. Dude, they're still there. All right, you know what? We're breaking out my final kit. Everything I have is relying on this win right here. For freedom. For justice. Let's go. No, he found me. He found me. Oh, no, he's pearling. I just need to get in the base. What is on his sword? Yeah, that's right. Skeleton, distract him. Distract him. Oh, no, I'm dead. Things were looking horrible, but there was still one person who hadn't given up hope, and he teleported me to his base. Whoa, yo, wait. 
Come on, brother, for glory. <laughs> Get some gear on. Yes, anything you have, it doesn't matter. The water bucket this is all we need. <laughs> this is all we need, bro. Everybody who wants TP, TP to me now. We gathered our forces and made one final attack. We will salvage this battle. They're still down there, so we still have time to prepare. Let's use some of my money here. Let's buy some diamonds. Now we just need to make a little bit of, little bit of gear, you know? There you go, bro. Equip that. We had our gear, and it was time to fight. We're, we're charging in. Yo, W North Star, what? <laughs> no! Oh no. And just like that, the battle was over. Also, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like as well as subscribe. This video took me at least 80 hours, so thanks. Click the video. Click the video. Click the video. Click the video. Click the video!